What's shaking, homies? So today, I've got a tutorial on how to hack your PlayStation Classic. This is a soft hack, so you don't really have to worry about bricking it. I mean, it might still be possible, but I don't really see how you're going to do it. To do this, you're going to need some type of external storage. You can either use a USB flash drive, an SD card in an SD card reader, or you can use a hard drive, an external hard drive. Just anything that can plug into the USB. So, my main thing was I wanted to play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. So, I got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 on here. Uh, let me show you how I did it. I'll also show you how you can access the menu if you want to change any settings. Maybe you didn't you didn't like how Tekken was playing at the 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz. You, you could just change your frame rate up to 60 frames a second and fix that. You can do all sorts of cool settings in there. Um, but yeah, let's go to my computer and get into it. This is stupid easy. Um, thanks to 8-bit flashback. I watched his video on how to do this, um, and I'm just going to make it a little more simplified, show you guys also how to get the ROMs and everything. Uh, I won't put any links, but if you follow along, you can figure it out. Uh, it's pretty easy. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, so this is stupid easy. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download this file. So you're going you're gonna to go to this website right here, this GitHub. Also, shout out to these hackers. They are the ones. Let me pull them up here. These are all the people that made this possible. So shout out to all of them. Okay, so you're going to download this. I already did, but you're going to click here and you're going to go to download zip. And then you'll have it right there. So I saved that to my desktop. You're also going to need to download a program to edit one of the files. So I recommend just downloading this program. It's free. You might have a program on your computer that can already do it. Um, but if not, download this one. This will be in the description as well. Okay, so. We're going to go here. Um, I'm going to extract these files. Uh, yeah, just extract them here. It's easier. Okay, so put them right here. Sorry about my desktop. It's a total mess. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down, go into my SD card, and I formatted this, and then I also titled it Sony, all capital letters. You're going to want to do that. Okay, then you're going to go into this folder that you downloaded and extracted, and you're going to take these. And here, make sure though to, to, to put these in the root folder. You don't want to put the graphics master folder first. You want to open that and then put these four files in there. Okay, so these are all on my uh, card now. Okay, so now what we got to do is we got to go into this LOL hack. And you're going to open it, right click it, and then open it with this program that you downloaded the notepad. Okay, it just takes a second. Okay, and then we get all this. Okay, we're going to delete everything. Okay, we're going to delete it, and then we are going to, I'm just going to copy and paste this. And this is what you're going to want on there. I'll put this all in the video's description, or you can just copy it from there. Okay, you're going to want to do that. And this is going to let us access the root menu uh, and do all cool stuff like that. And you're just going to click save. Bada bing, bada boom. And we good. Okay, now we're going to go back into our card here. Okay, now here is where you're going to save the games in this 20, you're going to go to games, then this 21, and this is a fake game. You can actually, you can actually make this a real game, but I like to keep it a fake game because you can use this as your save state on your, the games you add, and I'll get more into that now. So you can change this, and that's really easy to do. You just title, well, it's not that easy. It's pretty easy. Your bin file you download, you title it this, and then you throw it in this folder, and it'll overwrite it. Uh, you do the same with the picture for the thumbnail of the game, and that's really it. Just the bit in the queue folder and that one. Um, but we're going to leave them all fine, except this one. We're going to write something in it. So we're just going to open it. You can open this as your regular notepad program, or you can use the other one. We're just going to say PlayStation in here. PlayStation Classic, baby. We'll do that. Okay, that's, that's it. Save, and that's it. Boom done with that okay so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna put some games on here so I already have a bunch of games I downloaded I actually got them from this website oh uh, yeah there won't be a link to this because I don't want my video getting taken down but you could just figure it out there's a lot of websites you can download to get these so you don't have to use that one and so what I'm gonna do is in this folder I got a bunch of games here I downloaded uh, and we're going to put Tony Hawk on there for sure, because it's the greatest game of all time. Let's put, uh, put 
Tomb Raider. We'll just put a couple on here so you, you guys get how this works. We're going to take all these, and then we are just going to drag and drop them into this 21 folder. Okay, boom. And uh, we'll give that a minute. Kind of a big file. Well, several kind of big files. So if you have the bigger card you have, the more you can put on there. I'm just going to do a couple just to make this easier and then to show you how you can like cycle through them and everything and all that good stuff. But um, yeah, I'm going to let this finish and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, since the camera was cut, I decided to put a ton of games on here and actually look at all these games I added. So we're going to be able to cycle through all these. Okay, so this is in that normal 21 game folder. So now I'm just going to pop my USB out and we'll go over to the PlayStation and I'll show you how that works. All right, guys, so we're over at the PlayStation Classic here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on just normal. There's nothing put in it, so we're just going to turn it on normally. Okay, then once it boots up, I'm going to put the USB flash drive that I saved the games on. And here, I'll let it boot up all the way. Okay, so now it's, it's normally booted up. Okay, so now I'm going to take this USB and I'm going to put it in. Okay, now I'm actually going to turn the system off. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off like that. Nice and easy. Nothing really to it. Okay, then when it's totally off, I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to count to five at least. You want to do at least five seconds. Um, now, now that this screen came on my TV, I know that all the power is surged out of it. Okay. So now I'm going to plug it back in. I'm going to wait for this. I think this light comes on. Yep, okay, so now the light's on. Now I'm going to click it, and it should start flashing some crazy colors, actually. Yep, see, it's I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's flashing red, green, red, green, red, green, red, green, which, oops, which means it's actually reading off of the USB and loading up all this stuff. So now, from here, we got our game, okay, and uh, everything seems normal, except now we have this My Custom Game. Okay, so if we load this up, then we can use this as like a save state for our other games. But I'll show you what happens if you just click on this. You can always change that too, but if you change that, then I like keeping it how it is, so then you can use it as just like a save state for whatever game you want to play. Okay, so it's just going to load up this BIOS, okay, but then if I hit select and triangle at the same time, now I can pull up all sorts of cool stuff in this menu. I can even change the frame rate on the game, so if one of those games that was PAL that you were like thought it was laggy or too slow, you can change it to 60 frames a second and all that stuff, um, and really cool stuff. But if you just want to play one of the games you've loaded on here, you're going to go to load CD image, and then you're going to go to, you get to your games folder up at the top, and then I'm literally, I can just scroll through all these games that I got on here. If you go all the way to the left, you can hit it and you'll go back. Oh, but let's play Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, baby. So, it's just going to load up. Oh, yeah. If you were my age, this this was the game. <laughs> Tony, the first Tony Hawk was awesome, but this one, like with the manuals. Oh yeah, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater on the Super, or on the PlayStation Classic. Look at that. Look at that. I love Rodney Mullen, but his stats are terrible <laughs> for some things when he first starts. Let's be JT. Oh my god. But yeah, this is just so cool that you can basically just play any game you want. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Come on, Jamie Thomas. Alright, gotta get the hang of this game again. Ah! I'm being greedy with my grind tricks. Ah! Man, I suck. <laughs> I wish I knew it was special. Oh yeah! Oh. Oh, there we go! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, baby! Woo! I love this game. And then if you want to switch games, you can just go back to the menu. You can either if you hit the reset button or whatever, or you can just click these. Same thing. Change CD image. We can play a different game. If you want to play Resident Evil, I haven't even tried this one yet. Oh, oops. Hit the wrong button. But yeah, you get the point. Also, do you can exit. Go all the way back uh, with the exit. So, yeah, and you can, like I said before, now I can use that for a save state. So if I want to save it, I'm not going to but then I can save it right here on this custom image. So I recommend not changing this to a game. You could change this by, all you do is you rename whatever game, you download the bin folder and the queue and the picture and you just name them the SQS or whatever, 94224 or whatever. And from there you can change it. But I recommend just leaving it. All right guys, so that is the soft hack for the PlayStation Classic. Once again, thank you to all the hackers that made this possible. And also thank you to 8-Bit Flashback for you know his tutorials where I learned how to do this. And um, yeah, the only downside to this is you can't play two player on any of those games. So there will be more hacks I'm sure coming out in the future that will allow you to play two player where you won't take up a slot or people will figure out how to get around to that. So when a newer hack comes out, I will make, I'll make a video on that too. So if this video interests you, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I'll follow up with more videos on how to hack this. I might do more videos on the PlayStation Classic, or sorry, the Nintendo Classic, Super Nintendo Classic. I'll probably be getting the Sega Genesis, Genesis Classic. Um, yeah, so if this stuff interests you, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Peace out and later.